it's um, Robbie Russell who has come on his 23rd cap four years after his debut here against Ireland in the Six Nations. And uh, well, I'm afraid Scotland have suffered another injury. Bruce Douglas, the borderer, has gone. And um, well, it means not for the first time in this championship that a prop who thought his work was done, he was just heading for the Lagers, is suddenly back on. And Alan Jacobson has got just an extra couple of minutes to do as Paul O'Connell drives forward for Ireland. Seven and a half minutes away from the Triple Crown. Here's the man who set them along the way, Darcy takes the tourist route to Jordan Murphy, back inside to Darcy, and Darcy, Ireland's man of the championship, scores the triple crown winning try. Well, again, I'll manage to create that open field situation, and they really, really are finding a Scottish defence that are just not able to cope with it. This time, Gordon Darcy just ran his way around the defenders, so... Yeah, really from that ruck, balls just switch back inside. Now, he really shouldn't be able to get that that far. Ran his way around the defence, was back on Jordan Murphy's shoulder. And once Ireland had got past that Scottish first line of defence, there really was no stopping that. Yet again, well, well they come away, Nick Dolde, any time they've got down here, any time they've moved that ball wide, they've been able to score points really are looking so dangerous so much time on the ball the support play off the ball as well has been tremendous now really Darcy should have been put down clearly there Gavin Kerr steps back off him a little bit maybe a bit of a obstruction by Paul O'Connell but again the ball is put into space and just stays on his shoulder waiting for that return pass 